the Chinese underground church tells us that the true mission of the church is witnessing and uh, giving the gospel of the good news to all of our fe fellow men. And uh, the early disciples practiced this mission. They made disciples of others. They told them uh, that there is a future and a hope. And so in many countries we have uh, uh, special times to promote the need for missions and the preaching of gospel of the gospel such as in our western nations we have special times for outreaches yet a chinese underground christian will practice the gospel daily in his life every moment every hour if you meet an underground church christian from china then please note these five points number one he only wants to talk about jesus he does not have time for the box score of the New York Yankees. He does not have time for your favorite football team. He does not have time for your favorite tennis player. He does not have time for television. He does not have time for all of the things that give us joy uh, in this world. He has joy talking about the Lord Jesus Christ. He only wants to talk about the word of God. Then secondly, he accepts that not everyone will love him and that in fact he will be hated. Uh, some people will hate us when we share the gospel with them, when we have a commitment to the Lord Jesus Christ. And then the third point is they will start witnessing in a crowd. They might embarrass you. An underground Christian from China will have many people around him and he will turn and say, do you know about this son of God? about Jesus Christ, is he your savior? And then fourthly, they are prepared to die at any moment for their Lord. They have given their life, they are a living sacrifice to uh, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and they are prepared to die. And then lastly, uh, they are prepared to run when the police comes. You see, there is still great persecution in China they're incarcerated, tortured, and uh, at times they give their life. And so they run. The reason they run is not because they're afraid, but because of Matthew 10, 23. There Jesus said, but when, the, when the, uh, they persecute you in this city, flee to another. So they do this to be able to share the gospel. And beloved, I'm going to uh, stop here, but I encourage you to reach out to others, to share your faith, to become again the salt and the light of this world. The Lord bless you.